So Red Cross is a quintessential example of a gongo, which means the government organized non-governmental organization. An oxymoron, but in reality, many, many NGOs in China are gongos. And the Red Cross was directly controlled by the civil affairs ministry in, in the central government and the civil affairs bureaus in local governments. And the honorary president of the Red Cross of China is vice chairman of China, who is uh, Wang Qishan now. So it is part of the state system instead of outside of the state system. So it is interesting to see the Red Cross scandal, which actually started a long time ago, 12 years ago, 2008, after the Sichuan earthquake. Lots of criticisms about their lack of transparency in terms of the number, um, you know, the amount of money they collected, how they use the money, and how they distribute the money. And later, it was, the situation is getting worse and people getting more and more critical about Red Cross, particularly after the Guo Meimei incident, uh, who was a sort of a, you know, a girl showing off her wealth um, online, but was suspected to having, uh, to have uh, connections with one of the Red Cross um, high level managers. Uh, but that was the Guo Meimei incident. And the trust the relationship between the Red Cross and the public uh, quickly are getting worse. And then um, in this event, we saw similar scandals or even worse versions of the scandals um, about the Red Cross, not the central one, but the Hubei and the Wuhan one. So they basically stopped some of the donations uh, and also people are have questions about whether the donations and the materials actually go to the places where they're supposed to be. And because the hospitals and doctors and nurses are still, um, you know, tearfully asking for more donations online, but, you know, we all know that the millions of uh, boxes are have been delivered to Red Crosses. So there's a big question mark on this kind of practice. But on the other hand, um, people rarely notice that the Red Cross carried a lot of functions in China. They are the major uh, agency to respond to all kinds of disasters. They have warehouses, um, they have all the vehicles um, to respond to disasters, but it's just that such a tiny agency carrying all kinds of functions. Sometimes the functions um, actually overwhelm their uh, capacity in big disasters, which actually result in all the scandals. Of course, the lack of transparency is a problem, and it, there's no way for um, us to defend the Red Cross. So the impacts of the Red Cross scandal is obvious. Um, for example, in now you see the number um, is significantly lower. <laughs> the donation to Red Cross is just a minimum, and many people actually donate their money to uh, you know, private foundations such as Han Hong, who is a singer, Han Hong's foundation, which actually got a lot of praises uh, from the public, and to Ciji, which is a, a Buddhist foundation based in Taiwan, but actively working in, in China as well. But on the other hand, it's mainly that this lack of funding, lack of donation to Red Cross has its um, unintended consequences, is to discourage donation and to, dis to discourage also disaster response because Red Cross is still the major organization for disaster response. Without resources, they probably can, cannot do their work better. Um, so I would say this is more like, um, uh, you know, it's, it's a mutually reinforcing trend in this Red Cross scandal, uh, which it was unfortunate. I guess it is, it is the time for the China Red Cross to reform itself. Uh, to be more transparent to the public, to be more responsive to the public's criticisms, and also to um, reform its bureaucratic structures. Yeah, the call for reform is mainly from the public sphere instead of the government, because in the power structure within the Chinese government, the Red Cross is relatively powerless. Mm -hmm. It's mainly one of the so-called public institutions, Shi Ye Danwei in Chinese. Um, so it's, it's more like a, an agency affiliated with the government instead of one of the government bureaus. 
So I want to say many of the government officials actually don't care so much about red costs if there's no scandal going on. If there's a scandal and then, you know, it's a red cost problem, not a government's problem. But usually the public perception is put to together. The government and the red costs are pretty much the same thing. And the new they know that it is the gongo uh, and the gongo is supposed to be a state organization instead of an NGO. So this uh, scandal or previous cases of scandals have pretty bad inf uh, impact on the government's um, reputation and trust relationship with the public as well. I think the scandal actually gives room for foundations like the Han Hong Foundation. And also the, uh, earlier is the Jet Li's One Foundation uh, to participate in disaster response, particularly in at the moments where people have, you know, very low trust on the um, uh, red cause. And then Han Hong made a case that we are transparent about pretty much everything. And once you donate to our foundation, I'll put it online, your name and stuff, and you can look for those information online. It's, it's all transparent, where your money goes and where your um, donation goes um, is so clear online. And also in 2008 in Sichuan earthquake, I saw not, ju not just those foundations, but also grassroots uh, groups. They actually played the uh, role of do donate donation collectors, and they also try to compete with the local red cross uh, by being more transparent, being more responsive, being more active uh, in the public engagement. So I would say the red cross now is in a serious trouble. <laughs> that you have to compete with all these foundations, which are more active and more responsive. And the staff members of those foundations and small groups, they work around the clock and they don't have like eight hours working time. Uh, they work for like 14 hours uh, in those big disasters. So the Red Cross now really need to uh, rebuild their reputation and the status uh, in the public sphere to regain the trust from the public sphere.